Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? Effects in Premiere Pro. Now Premiere Pro is a fantastic all-around editing application, but it also has some pretty amazing effects. Some are standard like color correction, but others can be kind of crazy distortions and things like that. We're not going to go into using all of them. I'll show you where they are. We'll apply a couple and then later on we'll find new episodes where we can actually start to use these in interesting ways. So here we are in Premiere Pro. I have um, some things on the timeline here and I want some I've got some clips on the timeline and I'm going to affect them so this is using the standard workspace so this is the editing workspace if it doesn't look like this then reset the current workspace over here behind the project is the effects panel if the effects panel is not there then go look for it in the window menu and you can see there's several folders and when I twirl this down this is where your video effects are and they're divided into several categories adjustments at the top a lot of automatic things for automatic color now this says automatic it doesn't say magic it just says automatic it's a best guess I, I just stay away from them um, you've got levels that uh, you would normally be used to in things like Photoshop shadow highlight is also something that Photoshop has there's a whole bunch of blurs inside here uh, Gaussian blur fast blurs to use them you can either have a clip selected or you can and double click on them and I've applied them or you can drag and drop them once you apply an effect to change that you go to the effects control so this is where the effects are applied and this is where they change something like a blur you turn this up and you blur it you turn it down and you remove that effect very simple pretty easy to do let's go look at a few more of these so that was our blur category uh, the channel category um, if you've ever this is like a long time old uh, Photoshop technique called chops or channel operations uh, you can do some of those things in here I don't use a lot in, inside here uh, color correction do you definitely want to look inside here some great things for changing the color if you're used to things like R, uh, RGB curves um, if you're used to color balancing this is where you'll find those some of those distortion effects inside here where you can magnify mirror spherize transform twirl and uh, let's just do a, a quick twirl because this is in fact um, an accelerated effect so you can twirl that video around again I, I don't use that I'm just showing you some of the stuff and where they uh, where they are generate this is where you can create uh, patterns and checkerboards and grids lightning and ramps ramps um, you can just think of those as gradients there's some image control for con converting things to black and white uh, some keying effects to remove green screen and blue screen noise and scratches I'm actually going to jump in and grab noise and drop it on here and you can see as I turn the noise up I'm adding noise I'm going to add 20% noise and make it not color noise just very very subtle so that's one effect I'm going to add and you can see it's listed up in here in the uh, the effects controls and if you click on the little effects badge here you can turn that on and off perspective there's some 3d things in here where you can warp stuff around and spin them around some stylized ones um, I just advise you to stay away from these unless you want a, a little bit of that cheesy look some things to affect time um, and transform so if you want to make a change to scale rotation opacity and things like that you can use transform uh, these are different than the transitions they're in the effects um, and then there's some other things for converting like Cineon converter and uh, you can add clip names and time code now what I want to go do to is um, I want to go down to the Lumetri looks down here at the bottom and Lumetri is also another effect and you can see that we get a preview in here of some of these so these are the cinematic ones desaturation and styles 
and temperature. Now what I'm trying to do here is create a little bit of an aged look to this and I don't want to just go for the regular sepia tone that's that's too easy and by the way when I double clicked on that and the clip was selected it's added here so if I click on another to change it it's not going to remove this one so you need to come in here and delete that or undo. Now look at these this 70s look inside here that is pretty cool I'm going to undo and here's the 70s too 60s and 60s too. I like these 70s. Look at that. That is a pretty cool look right there. And if you wanted to apply this look, which um, has this cool 70s kind of dated effect to it, you could select this clip and just copy it. And you can select the other clips and paste attributes. And what pasting attributes will do is it'll allow you to pick what you want to paste. So you can see there's noise and there's our Lumetri effect. Click OK. And now when we go over these, they've got them all the same. Pretty cool looking effect. But here's a little tip. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself um, because I'm just introducing you to effects here. But really important, I've just used two, four, six, eight different effects on four clips. That's eight times the processing power that I'm asking my computer to do. So not the best way to do it. So instead, I'm not going, I'm going to actually take this and save this. So I'll, I'm holding down the control click key on Windows, command key on Mac, selecting both of those, save that as a preset, and I'll call that 70s look and I'll remove all the effects out of here so I'll select them all right click and choose remove effects I'm going to remove everything and instead I'm going to go of, of doing it per clip this little new item icon I'm going to choose a new adjustment layer it makes it this, the frame size drag this above drag it over top of the whole thing, select it. Now when I go back to my effects and go up to my presets, there's my 70s look, drop it onto here, and now all of those clips are affected. One extra bonus here, here is the adjustment layer. If I go to the effects for the adjustment layer, which has effects on it, I've got an opacity setting, so I could dial this back. I could dial it in, or I, I could even keyframe this in to have this cool 70s kind of look to this, a little bit dated. The only thing that's going to give it away is if uh, people are using or wearing modern uh, clothes or there's a modern car. But uh, just look at that right there. Looks pretty accurate. All right, there you go. So that's an introduction to using effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you understand that the application is used for editing, but also great for effects. And there's lots of effects that you can use built right in. I hope you found this informative. If you did, then please take a moment and click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.